HMTV people! <laughs> Getting dizzy about the day. So this is uh, part two of this little mini refurb we're doing here in Stoke. Give it a tickle, it's this house behind me. And as I said in the previous videos, we were only doing a very, very light refurbishment. So we've done most of the rip out phase now. So we had some black mold down there. Tickle, tickle, tickle. So now we're, now we can, now it's been ripped out. It's a bit easier for you to explain what we've done. So we've cut the bricks down here. Um, because that wasn't vented, you can see that all the, all the damp and all the salts and stuff was created from around here because there was no sort of ventilation there, it was stale air. So it wasn't actually damp, it was condensation, it's the black mould that appears and that's why they tried to cover it up with, I think it's decorator's cork. And that's never going to work! So we'll then take you through into the kitchen. We weren't really doing much in here. It's a little bit dusty from the rip out. However, it's still working order. Uh, get into the bathroom. So we've removed the shower tray. Some of the tiles have come off there, which is showing where some of the water leaks were. Uh, we, will be, we will be, do you know what? I'm actually too big. I'm taking up too much of the camera space, so if you stand like that, oh, that's better. Right then, so from your finger here, tickle tickle, round this white line across there, and round, this is a shower tree, so we're putting a new one of those in, and we're going to, we're going to be putting some sort of um, aqua panels, shower panels on the wall to make it watertight. So when we come to do that, I'll do you another video, but I'm just showing you the, the rip out phase. I'm going to quickly take you upstairs and then I'm going to come downstairs and I'm going to show you, as promised on the first video, what tanking is. And it's nothing to do with the army, people. Uh -uh. So, this bedroom's now been, all the stuff's been removed. This is pretty much ready for repainting. Carpet's gone. Doors have gone, as we've said, so we're going to need some new doors on here. Oh, it's going to be beautiful! Beautiful! So this is the first bedroom at the front. So remember on the first video, I was explaining that this wall here, it's now been boarded. So from there to there, tickle, tickle. And then from there to there. So if you remember that where that piece of wood is at the top, this was actually a wardrobe and all this wall was black mold. And I said, and I did a bit of talk to say that because this is, a, this is an end of terrace, this is the gable end here, so from my finger there to there is, a, is a, a little alcove and then from here to here is a chimney breast and then from there to there is another alcove. So what we've actually installed is insulated plasterboard. So this is the insulation from there to there. This one's 20 mil thick and then we've got a 12 and a half mil plasterboard there. So this is just like polystyrene so there you go if you have a look at it so this will slightly improve the thermal value but the idea is that then this wall here becomes insulated this wall becomes insulated so it stops as much heat going out and escaping but the main thing is it, it stops the cold spots and, and how the black mold works is it's a little bit like the windscreen on your car, whereby it's warm on the inside, so it's, it's cold outside, it's winter, you then put the heating on. It's one big solid slab of brick, because there's no cavity in the brickwork, and the outside is really, really cold. And then that creates water droplets, and then when the, when the humidity and the dew point in the room is at the right sort of um, temperature and conditions, the black mould then grows. So the black mould actually isn't damp, it's condensation. And the way we stop it is to heat it, ventilate it. So we've heated the walls a little bit now. We'll then open the window behind, put the heating on and we're mended! And going forward, the people that live in this house will no longer suffer with the gable end here at the back, when it's been skimmed, the black mould on there. Now it's not to say that they might not get a little bit along here, but that's a massive outside facing wall and it's obviously already got existing issues, so that's why we've chose to do it now. 
We weren't instructed to do this and we've recommended that they do all the walls, external walls with the insulated plaster board, but the funds, the moolah, doesn't allow it. So we've done the, what we feel is the worst parts to try and prevent the problem. So we've solved some problems there, folks. Take my word for it. And now I'm going to take you downstairs into the front room. Oh, here he is, look. He is the man himself. He's Jamie. <laughs> So what this is, is it's nothing to do with the army, it's nothing to do with war, but we're tanking people. And that's what this is here, this, this liquid that we're applying to the wall from there to there. So the purpose that we do this, so this is actually the purpose of this video, because I have explained in the previous video that I don't think this had been done. Now we've removed the plaster, I can verify that it hasn't been done, so I now know that this will solve the problem. So just very briefly to recap on the old video, so you can understand why is because the floor height this pavement runs up bank if we then look at the brickwork you can see along here that the brickwork gets smaller and smaller up there so we've got we've got an invert and coming here it's basically this, this the floor height going up and up and up and up and following my Finger, not quite as much of an incline, but it's just for the video to, so you can understand the reason as to why. So, for instance, I'm going to get, I'm going to get down and dirty now. If you imagine that he has been drilled, and this is the course outside, the the damp is still going to come from the floor up and hit this course, and that's where it's injected. So it's not going to go any higher than there because that's where it's injected. But if you plastered down here, as the damp comes through the floor and into the into the brickwork there's nothing stopping it coming into the plastic it's called bridging it goes it then goes above this line on the outside and then goes back in so what we do is we put the tanking slurry on the wall and that will then stop the damp coming through into the plasterboard so this stuff as as demonstrated by, by my beautiful assistant Jamie <laughs> it's mixed up with a bit of water this is the consistency. Yeah, and you just apply it with the brush. Apply it with the brush. Nice and thick, in two coats, two even coats. Go along this like that. Integrate! <laughs> so that's it. So we wash, first of all, we actually knock all the plaster off. We expose the brickwork like so. We then dust it all down to get any debris off so that it's got something to bond through, so we call a key. Then we wet all the wall, so this was previously soaked. Then we apply a coat to this tanking slurry, so we brush it on, we actually brush it on really, really thick. And like I say, the consistency as you can see is, um, how can you describe it? Like Samolina from school dinners. <coughs> so you're applying Samolina <coughs> to the wall. You then wait for it to start going off a little bit and then you apply your second coat, you get it nice and thick, then you just leave it, wait for it to cure and once it's dry, it's then ready for you to start putting your, either your drywall or your hardwall or whichever method you're going to do to go over the top of it. But the idea of this ultimately is to stop the damp coming out of the brickwork, out at you. It's a barrier basically. So this will solve the problem, and this is what was missed on the previous one, and now I've taken it down to the, the bare nuts and bolts. I can prove it, people! So this is part two of this little uh, playlist. So we're builders in Stoke-on-Trent, we also do lettings, and if you've got a little buy to let refurb or a HMO or anything else that you need doing, we're the people to call. Give us a ring and I'll see you later.